The 2022-23 Champions League season has finally come to an end, so it's time to roll out the awards. Drum roll, please. Winners and still the champions of the land, Manchester City. So today, I want to give the award for the biggest blunder of the season. You want to know what the craziest error that was made in the Champions League this season is? I'll give you six. This is a countdown of the six biggest blunders in the Champions League in the 2022-23 season. We'll start with that huge blunder in the final. Manuel Akanji vs Inter Milan This was the biggest game of the season, the singular most important game in Manchester City's history, and certainly in Manuel Akanji's career. But in the 58th minute, the Swiss-Nigerian centre-back somehow lost his head for a second and nearly cost the entire team their first ever Champions League trophy and a European treble. Look at what he did! It felt like Akanji just had a brain fart at that moment right there. If not for Edison, that blunder could have been a lot costlier. The blunder was so egregious that it brought Pep to his knees. The only reason this one is not higher up on the list is because it ended up not being a costly mistake. It didn't lead to a goal, and Man City ended up as champions. If not, an error like this in the UEFA Champions League final should easily walk away with the award for blunder of the year. This next blunder is somewhat similar to the Akanji one, because it also ended up not being very costly. But boy was it embarrassing! Jan Sommer vs PSG This was in the round of 16, when powerhouses Bayern Munich and PSG faced off in Germany. Bayern took a one-goal lead from the first leg in France, and it seemed like Bayern Munich's goalkeeper Jan Sommer was so intent on giving up the advantage his team had just about 10 minutes to half-time in the second leg. Come take a look at what he did. Had a little spill at Wolves on low. Oh, Sommer taking a chance here. He's giving it away. Bettinia off the line. Delic saves Bayern Munich. Brother, I know you were brought to replace Manuel Neuer, but if you're not a sweeper-keeper, you don't begin to try to be one in the knockout stages of the Champions League. His antics there could have been very costly, if not for Mathis Delete, who was quick enough to sweep the ball away from the touchline. If that goal went in, that tie would most likely have taken a different turn from then on. But, well, it's a shame that PSG were not able to profit from such a huge error from Bayern, because when they made an error of their own in that same game, Bayern showed no mercy and immediately punished them. Marco Verratti vs Bayern Munich When it's a rookie that makes a huge error leading to a goal, it's always easy to blame it on inexperience. But what do you say when it's one of your most experienced players who has done the damage? PSG's veteran defensive midfielder, Marco Verratti, was the culprit in the round of 16 game against Bayern Munich. And he was one of the reasons the French giants got knocked out in the first round of the knockout stages of the competition, yet again. Come take a look at what he did in the 61st minute of that game, with PSG already one goal down in the tie. How the hell do you even do that? As a defensive midfielder, the first rule is to never do too much in front of your own box. That right there is an OG making a rookie error and that's the last thing you want in a big Champions League knockout game. You know what else you don't want in a big game? Your centre-back trying to be cute with the ball just in front of the box and messing it up completely. Dio Upamecano vs Man City Dio Upamecano had one of the worst games of his entire career in the first leg of the quarter-final tie against Manchester City. He was absolutely awful, and his error, which led to City's second goal of the game, epitomises how bad he was all game. Take a look at this. Upamecano's lost out to Grealish, but it goes to Haaland, promising for City, pulls across to Bernardo Silva! I wonder what he was thinking there. Just play a pass or send the ball into the box for your strikers. It's not that difficult. What are you trying to be cute for It's the last man? And to think he did that against Manchester City. Trust Pep's marauding men to punish him immediately. Grealish pressed him effectively, won the ball, and with just four touches, Man City scored and pretty much put the game past Bayern. Very expensive error that was. This one required City to make four touches to score, but this next one I'm about to show you required just one touch. Thibaut Courtois vs Liverpool 
Thibaut Courtois is one of the best goalkeepers in the world. That's never going to be in doubt. As a matter of fact, just nine months before his game, he was named Man of the Match in the Champions League final after making a series of huge saves against Liverpool, which helped Real Madrid win the trophy for a record-extending 14th time. But when he faced the same opponents in the round of 16 of the 2022-23 season, we saw a totally different side to one of the greatest goalkeepers of this generation. See, Courtois is a great shot-stopper, but his footwork? Not so great. And that showed when he received a back pass in the first half of the round of 16 game against Liverpool. Come look at what he did. Oh, what a mistake! Trust Mo Salah to be there right on time to punish the blunder and double Liverpool's lead inside just 15 minutes. That's the type of offence that got Loris Karius kicked out of Liverpool in 2018. The only difference was that Karius' errors cost Liverpool the title, while Courtois' error was covered by Real Madrid's brilliance on the night. Also, just minutes after he did this, his opposite number on the other end of the pitch, who is just as experienced and decorated as he is, committed a blunder of his own. It was like Alisson was sending a message of solidarity to his fellow goalkeeper. Alisson versus Real Madrid Still, in the first half of that eventful, goal-packed and error-ridden Champions League round of 16 game between Liverpool and Real Madrid at Anfield, Alisson Becker did this just about 10 minutes to half-time. Oh, goodness me. It is another mistake. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, wins the award for the biggest blunder in the Champions League in the 2022-23 season. And you know why I've given my award to this particular one? Because of the huge effect it had on the eventual result. That simple mistake gave Real Madrid the equaliser before half-time, and that was all they needed. Ancelotti's men then came out in the second half with all the confidence in the world, and they went ahead to sweep Liverpool away, winning the game 5-2 and knocking Klopp's men out in embarrassing fashion right in front of their home fans. So you see, it might have looked like a small error from Alisson in real time, but it ended up having really huge consequences. Blunder of the season, easily. But damn, two huge blunders by two really great goalkeepers in the same game? I know Courtois and Alisson got smoked in the goalkeepers group chat that night, but is there any single game that has produced this many errors from outright legends of the game? Let me know in the comments. Also, who wins the award for you? Do you agree with my winner, or was there a blunder in the Champions League this season that you think is more deserving? Tell me in the comments.